Hey guys, what's up? So, I thought I'd do a little experiment. Um, I actually, I found this old file uh, up in my cabin under the uh, deck. I tore it, tore it on the old deck. And I found some old tools under the deck. And this is a file. I mean, it's pretty rusty. Now, let us know if this and, uh... Sorry, my uh, laptop over there is going crazy on me. But, uh, so I wanted to see if I could fix this doing uh, electrolysis. You know, I've seen a couple other videos on the internet on how to do this. And uh, you use baking soda, <clears throat> a little bit of water, and you need to use like, like, a, like, a, like a supply voltage of like 12 volts or something like that. And this is my test bench, so I mean, I do actually have power supplies. It's kind of messy, but... So I was going to hook it up to my 12 volt power supply right here. But let me uh, show you real quick. Um, so these are going to be, uh, th these uh, nails that are connected to this little pot here are going to collect the uh, rust, hopefully, there and there. And then, uh, so I'm going to add a little bit of water to this thing and, and baking soda. I don't know the exact amount, but uh, I want to see if this actually works, if I can get this rust off. So first I'm going to add a little bit of water. I might have to put those nails a little bit more. And so I, I do have two nails, and they're connected by a lead, a jumper, right here. So because I want to see if I can more evenly distribute the uh, the metal. I might have to bring those down a little bit lower. Because I want to basically sacrifice this clip. But I need to have this enough out of the water to... Do that, like that. Right, we'll see, let's see. Because I want to actually clip onto this one right here. <laughs> Alright, so I think I'm going to need to put those nails on down further. Give it a little bit more. Oh, phone's ringing. Alright, I'll be back. Alright guys, change of plans here. Um, so originally I was going to do it with the uh, jumpers and have the nails up here, but I don't think there's enough metal in the water to absorb the rust. So um, I'm just kind of getting this thing mocked up here real quick. So I just have the water in here and then I have this. I'm going to click the leads on it here. And, uh, but now I need to put some little baking soda in there and mix it up. But let's see real quick. So that's going to be... I'm going to attach the leads to the, these old alligator clips. You know, positive and negative. So the anode and the part. So uh, I know this video probably sucks, but <laughs> I'm just kind of experimenting, just kind of playing with this. I, I don't even know if it's going to work. It seems like it might work, but... Uh, I mean, I know vinegar probably would be better. I mean, we'll see. But I'm trying to get, just get the rust off. Because I don't want to run this file un under my... Um, under my buffing wheel, because I don't want to mess up the uh, teeth. So I'm hoping I'm trying to remove the rust without having to buff it out. So... Alright, cool. So, uh, let me get back here. Watch it. I'll just, uh... I'll have to come back. I'll just... Throw a little of this baking soda in there. I don't know how much I need, but... Let's try that. Stir it up a little bit with the spoon. So, I don't know if that's enough baking soda, but I guess we'll find out. So I'm going to put the part back in. Uh, put the nail back in. I'm going to put it right next to it, right there. And let me get my power supply set up, and we'll get it going. Alright guys, back. So, um, actually, th I'm actually using baking soda. And this is called sodium bicarbonate. And all the other videos on the internet seem like they're using the uh, washing soda or something like that, which is sodium carbonate. Um, they're pretty much about the same, so uh, not too much different there. But uh, let's try this real quick. So I'm gonna put the negative lead. I kind of I'm gonna sacrifice those clips for much. So the positive is gonna go on the. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be able to hold up. 
put this on the material. I think we're going to have to maybe put like a sticker to keep that if it doesn't fall in there now. Yeah, because I don't want my lead to actually, I don't want to sacrifice my good lead, you know. Let's see. Uh, <clears throat> Alright, let me come back. I'm going to put a little stick here to keep that wire in place. Alright guys, so I have this kind of position where I don't want to get my good leads. I mean, I mean they were very expensive leads, but I'm trying to keep those out of the water. And uh, this stuff right here, the uh, sodium bicarbonate, is supposed to actually make the water more conductive. So, um, alright, let's put this thing on. I'm Turn my power supply right there on. That little desktop has some power supply. So this thing is probably gonna pop. If it it might pop a fuse, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know what's gonna happen. Never done this before, so let's see. Alright, so oh wow, look at that. Already. Look at that. Wow, it's fizzling already. Put in about three amps. So you guys can see that. Hopefully this will focus in. Let me take the camera off. So it actually does work. Well, I guess let's see. Sorry, I'm zooming out here. Look at that. That is absolutely cool. All right. Um, so I'm gonna let this go for a while and see what happens, man. How awesome is that? I'm gonna check my power supply too and make sure it doesn't get too hot. Come, come, come back there. Make sure that doesn't burn up. Um, how absolutely cool is that? Alright guys, so, um, also, okay, cool. I'll come back and we'll see what's up with that. Alright guys, back here. Hope you can see this. Um, it's been going for about a little bit over an hour. I think it's actually done. All the rust is gone. It's not going to be silver like vinegar if I sandblasted it, but I do see a little bit more on there. But yeah, one of the worst things you can do is wire brush a file because it actually makes it more dull. So, um, all right, now I'll put it in for, keep it in for another hour. And you can see the rust piling up there. Look at that. Try and get some better light. Cool, cool, cool. Awesome. I'm glad this works. Alright guys, I think I'm done with this. It's been going for a couple hours, maybe like maybe like three to four hours. Don't see a lot of activity going on anymore. Um, so I'm gonna wash this off and see what happens. And if it doesn't look good then I'll put it back in here, but it's gonna take it off when you rinse it in the sink and see what happens. So alright guys. Alright guys, hope you guys can see that. I don't know if that's light's good enough, but uh, I did get all the rust off. I couldn't tell last night because it was kind of dark. And I didn't want to let this run overnight uh, in case something burned up or the power supply popped or whatever. So I'm going to put it back in again, but I do see areas where it's getting clean. So um, I'm going to clean this water out and reset everything. Get a new nail, new nail in there and uh, clean out the water and redo it. And, uh, yeah, I mean, this is obviously just a, just a fun experiment because, you know, I'm probably spending more money on electricity than this thing is actually worth. You know, the cost of this thing is probably a couple bucks. So, um, so far it's pretty cool, but I'm not sure, like I said, vinegar seems like it'd be a quicker way to clean this, but, all right, guys. All right, I'm going to get this back in there and we'll uh, give you an update on that. All right, guys, got the new leads, new water in there, new sacrificial nail. All right, I'm gonna try to turn this on so you can see it fizzle. All right, ready, set. <coughs> Make sure we have a light here. Go. Yeah, see that right there? That's pretty cool. All right, awesome. One thing I did notice is look at the nail when I move it around. The, it, it, where, wherever the metal's closest to is where it fizzles the most. So I move it that way. Fizzles more there, so that doesn't touch. All right. Hey guys, I know this video is getting kind of long. Actually, I wasn't.
plan on going this long, but <clears throat> I keep on seeing more progress here. If you can see that. So I think I'm gonna put a bigger piece of metal on there. So that's the side that's probably been facing down, so it's not getting good clearance. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try a big piece of metal in there, see what happens. It's only a couple hours. But yeah, you can see how clean it's looking, so. Awesome, we'll try it some more. This is kind of working. All right, let me show you my new setup here. So I have two pieces of metal in there. This is some old scrap metal I had cut up. I used a piece of galvanized wire. I'm probably not gonna get the best, the galvanized wire. So it might limit conductivity, but. Um, okay, then I got my uh, little clip on there so I don't submerge my clip. All right, turn the extra light on so you can see it. Let's see what happens. Ah, look at that. Yeah, I figured it would get better distribution with those bigger wa that bigger piece of metal in there. Yeah, way better. That's pretty cool, look at that. I'm hoping this will speed up the process possibly, you know. More metal to attract. Yeah, it definitely seems more violent than it was before, just with the nail. So. Alright, cool. Alright guys, quick update here. So, um... This, this power supply, when I added the extra metal, this thing was getting blazing and blazing hot. It's still super hot. Like, that's kind of why I didn't want to leave it overnight in case this place caught on fire, but... So that power supply wasn't big enough, so I moved down my, uh, my big battery charger here, so... Hopefully this won't get hot. I mean, this thing can do a 200 amp motor start, so... Um, Alright, we'll see. I'll keep on uh, checking on this, but yeah. Man, this thing would have... Uh, like, it's... I mean, this is... 15 minutes ago, this thing was, like, really, I, I couldn't even touch it, that's how hot it was. So, right. Alright guys, another day of fizzling. And this is what I'm getting. So, not a full day, but, like I said, I, wanna, I don't want to have this going overnight. So, yeah, I mean, it's taking the rest off. You can even see, like, the maker's mark now. I'm not sure, I, I need a magnifying glass to see that, but, right there. So yeah, I'm gonna put it back in, let it fizzle for another day, and put this side up this time. So it looks like the side, this is the side that was down. So I'm gonna put this on the upside. Cool. All right, guys. So I have about 16 hours in this thing, I think. But look at that. I mean, it's almost new. I bet you if I went for like another four hours, it probably would be a lot cleaner. Um, that side is the cleanest by far. But uh, yeah, it definitely works. I can see the maker's mark on there now, and uh, I'm gonna probably just keep it this this way. I mean, I think as soon as I do some filing, this the rest of the stuff will come off. But yeah, if I wanted to get serious about it, I'd probably put it in there like another eight hours, I guess. <laughs> but uh, it does work. So I mean, this was more of just an experiment to see if this actually does work. So, um, so whenever I do actually have a part that really is actually valuable, then I'll know what to do. Like at this point, this really, the, the, the energy I used probably was the cost of the file. What are you doing? We're fixing the file. Are we fixing the, are we fixing the bottle? Uh, a little bit. All right, cool guys.